Konnichiwa, Mina, this is Jisukur, and you're watching PokeCast. Today's 10 minute first impression video is going to be on a PlayStation 2 game, and that is Disney Princess Enchanted Journey. This is going to be fun to see if this is actually a worthwhile game to play, or it's just put together quickly to make money off of young girls. The sad thing is, if it actually is a really good game and I enjoy it, but. It is Disney made, so who knows? <laughs> As always, 10 minutes to play the game. First, I'm playing the game I've version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and let's begin our adventure. New game. Wow, two players. That's actually quite impressive. Hmm, let's see. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's always a pixie. The pixie's always going to cause trouble. It's a Tinkerbell. Hmm. Oh, an abandoned castle. Okay. Okay, it was once a home of a beautiful princess. An evil curse has been cast upon it. And the small girl... We'll save it. Oh, and a special girl. We'll have to take an enchanted uh, journey to help all the princesses in need to set them free. Hmm, sounds like it's a Legend of Zelda. The spell would be broken and the castle would be beautiful once more. Okay. And now the story begins, because you are that special girl, and you will help the princesses set them free. Okay. It's not an original story, obviously, but I'm not going to complain on that one. Ooh, voice acting. Wow, this place is so big and so beautiful. Oh, enter the name question. Do you remember your name? Um, maybe? Okay. Alright. Name been entered. I'm so happy you remembered your name! Do you remember what you used to look like? I don't remember at all! <laughs> oh. oh, really? Are we going with that? <laughs> oh. She literally asked the girl, do you remember what you look like? I think I thought, no. Well, you must be really ugly if you don't remember. Wow, tutorials, you gotta love them. Okay. We're going to do a tutorial on how to select everything. Alrighty then. We get to customize ourselves since we don't remember what we look like. Okay, we'll use this one. I actually like that. Okay. There we go. Oh, we keep in the purple. Okay. I'll do that. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, he's inside of the party. I don't know. It's just. No, the black definitely does not work at all. Eyes. Let's go with some green eyes. Shoes. No. No. Okay. No, what? No, the green doesn't even match. Hmm. Yeah, I'll we'll do that. There we go. That one matches. 
Earrings! We'll just use these. Uh, no green, so we'll do that. Bracelet! We'll do that. Oh, we can't unlock the other thing. Okay. Okay. Now we have... We have our look now. Okay. Now it's time to get to the journey. Okay, so the pixie is the save thing. Uh, no, I guess not. Alright. I have a magic wand that looks like a scepter. Hmm, okay. Wow! I get a wand! It's beautiful! <laughs> okay. Off to the throne room, for we can learn how to use our magic. Oh, we can use a D-pad. Okay, how weird. Alright. Now loading. Whoa, creepy. I hear something. Okay, the bog. Oh, this is a squirrel. Okay. Now. Oh, the bogs are captured butterfly. <gasps> no, not the butterflies. Okay. Wow. What? Squirrel. Do I want to skip the lessons? Uh, no, I can't skip the lessons, unfortunately. Oh, did I hit the wrong button? Yeah, I did hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Okay. Hmm. Now where do we go? Squirrel! I have to go find out where to go. Let's go up here. I see a lion and a what perverted old man statue. Okay, we we'll just call it that. Okay. I honestly I hit the wrong button. I didn't mean to skip. Okay. Oops. I guess I'm supposed to go back here. My bad. Okay, so, now that we're moving on, where do I go for we can actually start the adventure? Where I can go and save my princess. Or a princess. Perverted old man statue. Oh, we do have a jump button. Yay, squirrel. So, okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. Maybe it's on this side then, now that I'm done with that. Let's go see if it's up here. Lion. Okay. Oh, I did go the right way. This is the forbidden area. Where the greatest secrets lie. Hmm. Okay. Use the control with my with my wand, and I will find a surprise. Hmm. Okay, let's make it look like she's actually having to struggle to do everything. Well, rebel fat, a uh, rebel feature. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Oh! Oh, hello! Ariel? Okay. Oh, inspired by Mario 64! Okay. 
Oh, this is a hard choice. So we got Ariel, Snow White, Oh, that's nice. You can go to... So three chapters per one. You can go to any of them you want to. Okay, Belle. Oh, Cinderella. Okay. Wow. Easy, medium, or hard worlds. Then we have... Jasmine. Nice. Okay. Okay. All right, there goes the timer. Very encouraging, this pixie is. Okay. All right, well, that, that was the start of the game, and I didn't get to experience a whole lot of it, so I'm going to do another 10 minute first impressions video. Uh, for gameplay, because there was a lot of story to uh, get to this point, which isn't bad. I mean, yeah, it's definitely a copy story, you know, or an inspired by story, but um, it has me intrigued to see just how well this is going to play out, and I'm liking what I'm seeing, so it's going to be fun just to go and enjoy the gameplay just to see if it's actually going to be a complicated or not because I liked how it gets all up you know it's very point blank what everything is showing off um, you know the different controls and you know especially having the voice acting it definitely adds to this game in my opinion um, and like I said yeah the story Definitely is inspired by other games and stuff, but I know I was kind of making fun of that. Uh, I think it's going to work nicely with this with the theme they're trying to go for. So I guess for me, I don't mind. It is going to be fun to you know try out some of the gameplay and uh, see if it matches well and keeps it going because if it can keep me interested with the gameplay it's gonna be a lot of fun so for the story like i said the story um it's gonna be fun because you know of all of the unlocking and i like how you know there's three be three chapters per one each kingdom we get to go to and help out with is gonna be easy to hard or really hard so that's gonna be nice to uh, experience to see how hard the game can get in the different uh kingdoms and i like there's that that there was a character creation i think that was a, a nice touch to add your personal touch to the character you're playing um in this fairy tale story so i do think that's nice that they're going for the fairy tale story um bringing you know since you you're the person coming in to help, you know, is help save the the princesses. Um, that's good. That the, how they're doing it is you're going to go in there to help save their kingdom more so than just the princess. You get to create your character, and that's who you get to play as is the character you wanted, um, where you can you know go and be a, a heroine. So. I think that's actually quite nice, and I can't wait to see how the gameplay is and just how difficult the levels are actually going to be. Is it going to be super easy, or is it really going to be one of those uh, classic Disney games that we've come to know as pure evil and definitely takes some skill? So that's the, that's the major question. I can't wait to do the next video to see what that's going to be like because I want to know. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed. This is T-Secure saying ciao and sayonara.